from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Happy Easter. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I am Father John Berteo. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from the family of Susan Mary Cowan. This Mass is offered in memory of Susan, who died on this day in 2013. We know that this television Mass brings meaning to the lives of tens of thousands of Canadians across our land and around the world. And they join me in thanking the donor of this Mass that we start with in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us pause for a moment and acknowledge our sins to celebrate with a clear and sincere heart. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father and to seat for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Together we praise God as we say, glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may one day in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While the man who had been cured still clung to Peter and John, all the people, utterly astonished, ran together to them in the portico called Solomon's portico. When Peter saw it, he addressed the people, you Israelites, why do you wonder at this, or why do you stare at us? As though, by our own power or piety, we had made this man walk. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he had decided to release him. But you rejected the Holy and Righteous One and asked to have a murderer given to you, and you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. And it is Jesus' name itself and faith in that name that has made strong this man whom you see and know. And the faith that is through Jesus has given him this perfect health in the presence of you all. And now, friends, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. In this way, God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Messiah appointed for you, that is, Jesus, who must remain in heaven until the time of universal restoration that God announced long ago through his holy prophets. Moses said, The Lord your God will raise up for you from your own people a prophet like me. You must listen to whatever he tells you, and it will be that everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be utterly rooted out of the people. Now all the prophets, 
as many as have spoken from Samuel and those after him also predicted these days. You are the descendants of the prophets and of the covenant that God gave to you or gave to your ancestors, saying to Abraham, and in your descendants, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. When God raised up his servant, he sent him first to you, to blessings you by turning each of you from your wicked ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 The Lord be with you. And with, and with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The two disciples told the eleven and their companions what had happened on the road to Emmaus, and how Jesus had been known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, why are, you, why are you frightened? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see me, for a ghost does not have flesh or bones, as you see that I have. And when, they had said, when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they, while they 
while in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and in their presence, and ate it in their presence. Then Jesus said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds and understood the scriptures and said to them, thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem, and are, you are witnesses to these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's imagine for a few moments and how we might be compared to the humanity of the apostles. You see, sometimes we too tend to be like the apostles. For example, we won't believe unless we can see for ourselves. So the gospel accounts tell us of the reality of the resurrection of Jesus from the grave. Jesus goes to great lengths to assure his disciples that he is no ghost. He is real. He shows them the marks of the crucifixion, and he explains how the scriptures foretold his death and rising. St. Jerome wrote, as he showed them his real hands, his real side, he really ate with his disciples. And he continues, he really walked with Cleophas, really reclined at supper with his friends. With real hands, he took bread, blessed, and broke it. Let's not then minimize the risen Lord to our own human standards. Instead, let's work at maybe, maybe just achieving the gift that one day we may be with him with a clear conscience and of course, in a contrite spirit in his presence. That's a little quick story, true story. <laughs> As I've shared with you many times, and I still have so many beautiful memories, uh, one to do again with my mom. One day when I was with her, mom needed help to get out of her wheelchair, and there was no one around, and mom was very uncomfortable, and I would do anything to make mom comfortable. So I took matters into my own hands, literally in my own hands. And I got her out of the chair, not a wise thing to do, but I did. Later on, I felt something just in my back that was a little bit out of place. Ever since then, it's been my back in poor shape from the lifting. And it's still very sensitive to this day. However, I still have the good memories of doing everything I could for her, who did everything for us as a beautiful lady, a wonderful mom. St. Luke writes that Jesus wanted to assure his friends that he was no ghost, as we said at the beginning, but very, very real. His hands and his feet, his wombs, very visible wombs, wounds of his suffering and death. You see, dear friends in Christ, the scars of Jesus, the Messiah, are reminders to the disciples and to us that those who want to be Christ's followers must be willing to take the wounds and scars that come from helping others. And many times that happens. What then stops us, what stops you, from helping a loved one and not cause harm to yourself. Remember, be smarter than I am and not cause harm to yourself, but to do still whatever you can to help someone you love and even sometimes even a stranger or whatever that might be. You see, Jesus did it all for us. Let's do the same for others in his name and in his glory. And again, you might be thinking, how can I help someone when I myself am maybe bound to whether it's a chair or what it might be? Like I said before, 
pick up the phone. Call someone and say, hi, I was thinking of you. And I thought, I don't know how much I can help you, but to remember that I am with you in spirit. And with that, say a little prayer for them. Remember St. James stating that if you bring someone back to salvation, you save your own soul too. By calling someone, by saying to them to care for them, and that you're thinking about, by giving a little prayer, they might even say, oh, I don't have time for that. Oh, just, just give me a minute. Just give me two minutes, three minutes. And you'll see. Be persistent. Be real. Be real. Jesus is very, very real. And he wants you and I to care for others the way he did. I'm not suggesting go out and hurt yourself just to help someone else. But as simple as calling the phone or being at peace, it's so important, especially at this time of the year when we celebrate the resurrection. Be you. Be Christ to others. And live happily, live happy and at peace with them. May God bless you. We pray for all of those in our daily TV Mass Intentions book. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. The Easter season, we offer our community prayer in thanksgiving for the new life that is ours in the risen Christ. May we be strengthened by his healing presence among us so that we might live in peace and glory with him and glorify him in our own lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are seeking forgiveness and redemption from Jesus for their salvation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this Easter joy, or Easter time, be a time of joy because Jesus has opened the gates of heaven to us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the wonderful gift of the Sicily TV Mass and for our sponsors, that their prayers may be answered according to God's will, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of these, we offer them to Jesus through Mary as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Grace, pray for us. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and turn hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy Gracious Savior, be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your, of your increased help from heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this day, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the, unhin the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Francis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church 
and grace you go to peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May the peace of Christ be with you at Easter and every single day, and wish that same feeling to others. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy that you should enter the my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ meet to everlasting life. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Hear our Lord our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Happy Easter. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass.